Now, this is something very rare, and I was clearly completely wrong about this being a youngster following its mother. Interestingly, hyena males are actually smaller than the females. The females are bigger and bulkier and more dominant than them. And this is something that I've never seen before. It's quite fascinating because while you were gone, it did take him about three, three or four attempts before he successfully managed to start copulating. And it's not as simple as a fair as you would think it to be with regular mammals. Hyenas have got very interesting appendages, and the females have got what is, is called a, a, a pseudo-penis. It's a greatly enlarged clitoris, and that is, in fact, their birth canal. So they've got very, very different reproductive organs to your average mammal. And I've never seen this, and it's something that doesn't get seen very often. So we're very lucky to be witnessing this. And it's behavior like this, I guess, that's created the, or at least helped create, the gigantic, gigantic hyena population. Now, something interesting is happening. There's another hyena approaching. Look at this. Now, with most wild animals, there's quite a lot of competition for breeding rights. So we could see some kind of a showdown here. Or that one could run off, it could realize that he is less dominant, possibly, than the male that's mating with her. And it looks like that's exactly what he's decided to do. The other two haven't flinched. They haven't moved a muscle. And as, the, as I said, this is something that I have not seen before. But I'm guessing why those two have remained coupled together is... Similar to the, 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 the fact that domestic dogs will also remain coupled together once they have copulated. For how long, though, it's going to be interesting. Well, thankfully you guys joined just in time to be able to work out how long they will remain coupled for. There's the other one. Is it coming in? Or is it just taking a very, very wide berth? Off it goes. Incredible scenes from the Mara. Oh, who knows why it's running, what the rush is, or where it wants to go. I'm guessing it's going to stop and turn around and look back at these ones and then decide what to do, but let's wait and see. What I'd also be very interested to know about is where their den is in relation to here. Hyenas very often have den sites that they will use where they base themselves during the day, whereas at night, they head out searching for food. Hello to Shelley. You would like to know if the female gets to decide who she mates with, and... I guess yes, and in, in, in essence, the answer to that is uh, a definite yes, and the reason for that is that the, the females are bigger than the males, so they can overpower males if they would like, but they usually have created a bond with an alpha male, so it's often the alpha male and female that will mate. So she does, I guess, have a choice to a degree, but that male would have fought for his dominance within the clan with other males. So if he manages to chase off all the other males, then he will get to kind of cash in on the mating opportunities. But they do live very, very complex lives and social structures. Hello to Roshni, and thanks for the question that you've just asked, because it does lead on from the previous question, and that is, how does the mating hierarchy within a clan work? And usually it is just the alpha male and female within a clan that will be the ones that breed. 
However, it is possible that the beta female and beta male will also mate. That has been seen on some occasions at Juma where we've had multiple pups or cubs rather. Let's see what happens here. So definitely some submissive behavior from the individual that approached. So probably from the same clan. Interesting that it didn't greet the female though. Let's keep an eye on these guys and see what they get up to. This is really interesting. John, you've asked a good question to which I do not know the answer. You have asked how many times will they mate. And I have never seen hyenas mating before. Some of you may remember a long time ago on Juma, we had some really interesting behavior with about four or five males chasing after a female. Oh, here goes. I wonder what that was all about. And again, you know, it's just so hard to read into the every move of what they do. But it sure is interesting to watch. But John, back to your question. I'm guessing they're going to have multiple copulations over a, a few day period. But I'm not entirely certain how the reproductives work within hyena. If any of you do know that, please send through some tidbits of information for us. We'd be very happy to share that with everyone who's watching. I've lost track of which hyena is which now. I think the one on the far right is the female. And the one on the left, I think, is the male that was mating with her. Or have I got it wrong? No. That looks like the female and the male there in picture. And I think the the random stranger is the one who's moved out on the right now. Fascinating stuff. Well, I think it's going to be worth spending a few more minutes here and just seeing what these other two do. It's something that... You very seldom get insight into, at least I have had very little insight into hyenas mating. So it will be worth sticking around to see what happens next. A beautiful, beautiful scene, some wildebeest in the background. Hello to no one. You're interested to know whether the hyena population is less than that of the males in the Mara. And I don't have a clue to the answer to that question, sadly. And to be honest, I think even for hyena researchers in this area, it would be quite a tricky feat to know exactly who's who within these clans. But... I think as time goes by and as we spend more time here, we will gain more insights into the finer details of these animals. But the three days that I've spent here thus far, I have failed to gather such info. Okay, well, we're going to hang around here and see if these hyena... Don't get excited and active again. Although, hold on a second. It looks like it may be happening right now. <laughs> Let's just give it a short while and see what happens here. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we are going to try and stay with them. And then call you back if anything exciting happens. So it does seem like things have calmed down now. They're all just marching off. So we're going to continue to follow them and send you back to Juma with some sleepy lions.